Mmm, what is up guys? It is your boy Straight Up Popo and it cannot be Career Mode. Yes, it is. It's the new Career Mode series I am starting, guys. And, um, oh my god, has it been a long time since I've played Career Mode? Yes, it has. As I have, I'm having a flicker through the teams here. And I thought, you know, uh, in the end, I came to the conclusion Newcastle was the best team to go with. This episode's just basically transfers only. Uh, next episode, we're going to get into the real grit of stuff. And, you know, that's when things are going to get based. So, uh... Here I'm just sorting out all the settings to my appropriate playstyle. Um, I don't usually play offline too much, so we, this is going to be my first full-on career mode. I have played a couple seasons with a QPR, but this will be the proper, proper one. Uh, hopefully, we'll do this for a while. Hopefully, you know, this will be one of the trademarks on my channel. Because you guys do know I am an ultimate team kind of person, and that's just how I roll, you know. I'm a, I've am been playing ultimate team for ages now. Uh, I've been playing Karima for quite a while as well, but really ultimate team is where it's at. Uh, so yeah, anyway, this is the team before we make any transfers. Obviously, um, Gutierrez is going to need to go, Colachini is going to have to go. Too old for my liking. Um, you know, I like to have my teams nice and young, so the potential has, goes up in a, lot, a lot and stuff. But um, yeah, these are all the players that I've listed. Pause it if you want to have a look at the whole list. Um, those were the players. But without further ado, it's a first signing. Kurt Zorma, I think that's about how you pronounce it. Um, he's 17, 73. His stats are amazing. Um, I just found him as I was searching through. Hopefully, he's got a good potential as well. Obviously, Neven Subotic, we're going to try sign him as well uh, in this career mode series. Uh, I tried to put a little sweetener in here to see if um, Borussia Dortmund wanted him, just because I didn't really want him, you know. It's a sweetener, isn't it, you know? Why not? But they did come back and say, no, you're not, we're not having any of it. We want cold, hard cash. Nine and a half million was the sum they wanted. So I said, okay, Harper, go away. We're going to have to give them cold, hard hash, cash at what they want. Um, and that's what we did. We gave them nine million thousand pounds. Not, not, not nine million pounds. I'll say nine thousand coins then. <laughs> but yeah. Um, also, uh, I think that's... I, can't, I don't know who Zorn the place for, but... They wanted more money, so yeah, that's what we gave them. We gave them cold, hard cash, my son. And eventually, and eventually they, they did, did want one, but Borussia Dortmund let them come, come and, and that, that is the end of, of that story. story. Also, Zuma, he's coming, and that was all for the transfers for now. Um, oh, we did need some place to sell, and eventually that does come later on in the, in the episode. But here, as we can see, Subotic accepting we also accept which is really goddamn awesome uh, beautiful beautiful sign in there uh, I can't say much about it you know Subotic Subotic as we do get a, a bid in for Papa Cisse um, I said you can have him for 15 million I'm not too bothered to really lose uh, the, the, the Cisse brothers you know I'm not too bothered but they did say yes we'll have a 15 million uh, our representatives are now going to meet with him to sort that all out um, Zuma also in the in the Newcastle family uh, as he also says yes now yeah I wasn't really too bothered if I lost either of them so I did kind of just let them go uh, as you can see later on we do get a couple bids um, on a Denver bar as well so yeah but here we come into our first friendly Newcastle versus Werder Bremen 3-1 pretty good no injuries uh, Toyota did get a yellow card but you know he no, no one got injured and that's the main thing uh, here we get another uh, two offers from Lazio, which is for Denver Bar. I said, you know, I'm not too bothered if I lose him. We might as well squeeze some money out of him. So I thought I went ambitious. I went 20 million. Check Teote from Valencia. I didn't really want to get rid of Teote. I'm not going to lie. I like him as a player, and I think he's going to have a good potential. So I did reject the offer uh, in the end. Uh, obviously, Lazio coming back for Bar. They want a bit more of the black man. So, you know, I said, you can have him for a bit more money. We're not going get, to get, give you him for that much money because he is a good player. I'll probably keep him for a season and then sell him. As I can see him doing very well this season. We're playing Valagano here. Uh, again, 2-2. Two -two. Bar gets injured, but only for six days, which is pretty, you know, I'll have six days, not a problem. Shola Miobi, we put him on the transfer list. He can go. We don't want him. He's, I think he's been at the club for 12 years now, 13 years or something like that. So it's been a long time. I think it was just his time to leave, really. But anyway, back into the transfers. Denver Bar, 
Should I accept? Should I counter offer it? Should I try to get a bit more money out of him? I do indeed try to get a bit more money out of him. The fatal mistake. Uh, I probably should have just sold him for the amount that he was worth. As we do get a friendly versus Florentina here. We I just say friendly because I just don't see the point in them really. You know, it's just kind of a bit pointless. Realistic but pointless and you know. In for a game, you know, you don't want to do that. But here, obviously, Lazio backing out. They don't want anything to do with him anymore. Um, which was fair enough. I can understand why. Uh, Steven Taylor also. I want. I just want to get rid of him. I hate him. You know. Um, obviously, trying to squeeze more money out of him as I do. But I really just couldn't be bothered with Steven Taylor anymore. As we do make another signing here, Lucas Piazon. Um, I don't know what it is, but in career mode, <coughs> I just. I love him, honestly. I think he's a beast, generally a beast, and ah, oh, he's just so good, he's so fast. His potential, I think, is quite good as well. So he's a must on career mode, definitely. As well as Eduardo Vargas, plays for Napoli. These are before the uh, updates. That's why you know all these players are kind of different. If you guys were wondering, but yeah, we tried to sign these two players. Um, you know, P Piazon is quick to the mark to say yes. Uh, we will have. I will come to your club. Which was fair enough, you know. I think we need need we do need a winger because Marvo's not going to cut it on the left wing. Um, so yeah, I think Ben Arthur and uh, Lucas Piazza are a good little combination. As Vargas also is going to play up from with Demba Bar, which is a very good signing. Uh, I did kind of use my ultimate team knowledge a bit, but that doesn't matter. It's been your boy straight to Pippo. That was episode one of the career mode, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.